I just feel like I'm home tonight. Okay. Uh, well, say, I do appreciate uh, Brother and Sister Morris. And they've been uh, friends of mine for a long time. And uh, appreciate all of you. Yeah. This couple sitting on the front seat over here, I just just appreciate them very much. Amen. And uh, of course, uh, now this is uh, Brian's or uh, Mark's wife, but she's my sweetheart. <laughs> Amen. It's all right. I thought that. Was all right. But just one thing, uh, I wish you hadn't said tonight. Telling your ages. <laughs> you know, that makes me feel old. <laughs> no, I'm not, but uh, you know, you're 40. Did you know you're half as old as I am? Praise the Lord. Well, I just appreciate this one. Uh, Jimmy's daughter said she was 25. I said, no way. I mean, uh, it didn't take them long to grow up. I, I, I was around before she was. <laughs> so, but uh, I just appreciate being here tonight. And, uh, and you know, just felt the Lord all through this service tonight. And I was telling uh, Brother Ryan and them, Sister Rose, uh, which Brian's my driver. He he drives me around. And, and uh, I told them that they're really going to enjoy coming up to the me tonight. And uh, this this boy can preach too. I mean, me and my brother taught him how. <laughs> I mean, I mean we, we, we taught him how to preach. So maybe sometime, uh, Brother Randy, could get him up to Amen. minister a few nights yes, for you. I know you'd really appreciate it. And uh, but we keep him straight. And uh, but uh, of course, Rose, she 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 backs him up too. I mean, with a rolling pin and a <laughs> skill. Amen. But uh, she she keeps it on track, amen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find the song here tonight. I got one in my pocket. And I'm gonna try to sing this tonight if I can. And uh, if I can keep the tears back, I, I tell you, I just feel just feel that anointing here tonight, amen. Yeah. And uh, feel like Brian's son there tonight, for so just breaking down and just say, Lord, I love you, amen. amen. God is so good. Yes. And. Uh, but I uh, appreciate the uh, privilege of being back here. It's been over three years yeah, yeah. since I've been up here with you all. And I, I, I always tell them, you know, uh, I used to come up here when I was, what, uh, my probably 30s, 40s, at least 40s. And I'd get up and I'd say, man, it's great to be with you folks tonight. And I'd come back then after 10 years more and hit 50. And, Man, it's great to be with you folks. <laughs> Ten more years went by and it hit 60. And I said, great to be back in Pennsylvania with you folks tonight. <laughs> Ten more went by and hit that 70. And Martin's not get up and said, man, it's great to be here tonight. <coughs> now 11 more went by and I just get up and say, I'm glad to be. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, God is so good to us. And he's been good to me. Most of you probably know I lost my wife in June, but I know where she is, and she was she was a, she was a great lady and a wonderful wife. And I was kidding we were a while back. Somebody asked me, said Brother Boyle, said Are you ever going to get married again? And I said, Well, if I do, it have to be for money. Yeah. <laughs> said How come? I said Well, I don't think I could love another woman like I love the one I just lost. Yeah. Amen. But, uh, I'm not looking for a woman, I'm looking for Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's what I used to tell them. Uh, I'd go out in revivals. I traveled evangelistic work for several years. I'd go in their church and I said, I'm not looking for a, a fast buck or a loose woman or a girlfriend. I said, I've got a girlfriend at home and I was married to her for 61 years. And that's all I need. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just appreciate the privilege of being here and uh, the privilege of being with your pastor tonight, Brother Morris. We love you and appreciate you. And uh, I know you folks love him and his wife. And, uh, I always uh, kid her a little bit. I called him one time and and I uh, asked who was preaching to a certain churches. She said, The old man. <laughs> I thought she was 
she was talking about the pastor because he was way up in years. And she was talking about Brother Morris. And uh, so I kid her about that now. Anyway. But uh, you know, some why some ladies get by with that, Sister Morris. But I, I, I'm going to say this right, not in reflection against her because. I know her, she she don't care, she doesn't kid her. But uh, that's one thing my wife never, I never called her the old woman or the old lady or she never, never called me the old man. Because if I'd have called her the old lady, that would have made me the old man. Yeah. So we just didn't do that, eh? praise the Lord. I always refer to her as my wife. And, uh, but, uh, you tell me a little, uh, little thing that happened here. And I, I usually use this, and I want to sing this song along with it because the Lord gave me this with it. But uh, I was telling I was uh, in my living room one day, and uh, just sitting there, and it's really, especially ministers know what I'm talking about, how the Lord will just sometimes just kind of come up to you. And I was sitting there, he just kind of walked up to my chair where I was sitting, I had my eyes closed and meditating on the Lord. And, and he began to speak to me and uh, brought out some scriptures to me and said that uh, Isaiah 7 and 14 tells us about the first coming of Jesus. In uh, Matthew chapter 2, it says that he came. Mark chapter 16, it, he said that they, he called and anointed and sent his disciples to preach. And then in Luke, uh, we know that Luke was a physician, and I told him he doctored the sick. And, but in the 8th chapter of Luke, Jesus came and healed the sick. And then uh, John 3.16 tells us how much God loved us and gave his son to die for us. And we know Jesus died on that cross, but... He said in John 14 and 2, I go to prepare a place for you. And then in Acts chapter 1 and 9, the Bible says that he was taken up in the cloud and went to prepare that place he promised he was going to prepare for us. Right. And then in John chapter 3, he said, I'm coming again to receive you unto myself, and where I am, there you may be also. In 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18, the Bible says that uh, he's coming back for us right. in the rapture of the church. Amen. And uh, when that time comes, he's going to come back and we're going to be called away. And, and the, the Bible tells us that we've got to change, though, into a new form to go to that place because we can't go there in this body. So the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 57, he's going to change this body into a glorified yeah. body. And then he's going to take us into the presence presence of God and present us to God. And we're going to be there about seven years. And after the seven years, the Bible says in Revelation 19, he's coming back with us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. To this earth. Yeah. And the Bible says in Matthew 25, he's going to set up his kingdom and we're going to rule with him in that new kingdom, in that brand new body. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, and the Bible tells us uh, that uh, Jesus is coming. In the Bible, in the book of Revelation, the last chapter, he says, I come quickly. And then the Bible says in the last chapter of Revelation, even so come Lord Jesus. And uh, so if you're not ready, get ready. If you're already, stay ready. He's going to come back. And uh, when, that, when that time comes, I'll tell you, it's going to be great. I'll have eyes that will never
You know those little things they give out the funerals that you just go. I had that uh, the chorus of that song put on my wife's uh, card, and uh, and people really they they they'd read that and say, man, that was great, amen. And uh, so she's there now. She'll never weep again. That's right. No more tears. No more crying. Amen. And uh, but uh, of course, my wife before uh, she was in a rest home for two years, and uh, of course she had dementia. She didn't know any of her family. She didn't know the kids, but she knew me. And uh, I was in there, walked in one time. We just sitting there, and she looked at me. She said, Francis, if you don't watch out, you're going to get fired. I don't know. I said, well, I'm retired, so it doesn't make no difference. Amen. But, uh, but she knew me right up until the day she got real bad and passed on to be with the Lord. But uh, just, it's just wonderful how I spent uh, many good years with her. And uh, there's only two things of regret. One, I didn't spend enough time with her. And the second, I didn't tell her I loved her enough. Amen. But uh, I used to kid her. She'd say, she, 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 she'd say, do you really love me? I said, yes. She said, how much? I said, a whole bushel. She said, well, that isn't very much. I said, it depends on what's in the basket. <laughs> Amen. See, with some husbands, it might be feathers. <laughs> it wouldn't be very weightful, would it? And I said, this basket's full of gold nuggets. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, my 